when decisions are made about whether or not a condition is fatal enough to fall under the legislation, uh, it's a decision made by a group of, of doctors, and that's, that's actually a good medical practice. The problem is that the people who, the one group, if you like, who are not involved in the final decision, uh, where there's a, a sort of a, an uncertainty, are the couple themselves. And, but they're the ones who are, who are going to have to deal with the consequences of perhaps being denied a, a termination in Ireland and then having to travel abroad. So I think that's an important point that is, is kind of missed in the whole, whole debate. It's the people. Now, for some people, you know, having a, having a child with a severe disability is exactly what makes them, and it's, it's a very fulfilling uh, experience for them. And for others, then, it's an absolutely, it can destroy their lives. So the couple's uh, opinions and decisions need to be taken greater account of, I think. But there is a fear, an understandable fear, because uh, it's a criminal offence under current legislation. So that criminality needs to be removed. Now, I think there was, a, there was an understandable um, anxiety, if you like, in society about what would happen when abortion was introduced into Ireland in, in the way it was introduced following the legislation. The sky hasn't fallen in, and women now are much better served. But there, there are a few things in the current legislation which need to change. One is the definition of 12 weeks. You're 12 weeks pregnant until you're 13 weeks pregnant. The legislation says it stops at 12 weeks and zero days. So it's not 12 weeks, it's 11 weeks in practice. Uh, the three-day waiting period, I think, is an insult to women. It's infantilizing, and it's infantilizing to doctors as well. G GPs who, who see the vast majority, of almost all of these women in the early stages, are well able to detect um, hesitancy on the part of a woman who's, who's turning up looking for a termination, a medical termination, or if she needs to be referred to hospital. And then we, we've talked about the fetal abnormalities. Um, that needs to be addressed, I think, because it's... Uh, Couples are being denied, being denied an input into their in, into their care. I I I think most Irish people understand these issues. I think they're being treated in a very you know as if they don't understand them. And I also think that they understand what it means to bring up a child who is disabled. And I think that it has to be the decision of the people themselves, and that's ultimately. Um, I think the stance I would take. We commissioned research in February 22, and 80% of people, and this was national research by opinions market research, 80% of people agreed that no woman in Ireland should still have to travel uh, abroad to access abortion care, and 71% said that abortion should be treated like any other medical procedure and should not be a matter for criminal law. Um, so we're very clear that there is full public support behind these recommendations in terms of what's needed to change in this review. That ultimately, this should be a decision between a woman and her doctor. Mm -hmm. And that's where it goes in relation to all of the questions, I think, on grounds. Uh, and, and that's what we need to bring it back to.